Welcome to Perk Stream for February 9, 2022. I dare you to draw near. Well, thanks for joining me here again today. I'm glad that we can be together. You know, if I were to recommend a book on prayer, I could recommend a lot of good books on how to pray and what it means to pray. But there's one title that I think I would probably recommend to you because it's not a book on how to pray, but it's a book on what we learn from the prayers of others. So John White wrote this book called Daring to Draw Near, and in it he explores 10 prayers from people in the scripture and what they teach us about who God is and what it means when we get near God, what, what it means when we get near him and we take our masks off. And this is something of what is important in this series on prayer. Number one, that we don't pray it safe, that when we come to God, we come to God as we are with everything that's going on and we let him know what's happening. And then the second thing is that we, we make sure that we recognize who God is, that we, we speak his name, we speak his names and recognize that maybe in a season we need a certain thing from God and we need to call on the name of our Lord for that thing. But once we get there, I, I think the, the thing that we need to be able to do is, is do what the scriptures call is abide. Draw near and live near our God. You probably know the scripture in Hebrews and it goes like this. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place, by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, open for us through the curtain that is his body. And since we have a great high priest, who is Jesus, over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with full assurance that faith brings. You know, we have access to God because of Jesus. We have full access to him. We don't have to stand afar and wonder if he will receive us. The door is always open. And so we dare to draw near because he's made it happen for us through Jesus. Now, James is a little more terse in his daring to draw near theme. He says this, submit yourself then to God, resist the devil and he will flee. Come near to God and he will come near to you. And this is where it kind of gets terse. He says, wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourself before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Well, James is writing to people who had lost sight of what was important uh, in terms of being in relationship to people because they are in relationship with Jesus. And they were judging each other by their human standards and not by the standard of heaven. They were not looking through the window, if you will, to get God's eternal perspective. So he needed to be a little more terse about drawing near and realizing that when we do, we're drawing near and we get changed. We get a new perspective. Prayer changes us when we pray near to God. And so this is what I want to encourage you today, to draw near to God and know that when you do, you're welcome there. And when you're there, things may change. Your perspective may change. Things may look different after you're done if you will pray and stay near God. You'll get his perspective on life. You'll get his perspective on relationships. You'll get his perspective on living in the craziness that is our world today. And this happens when we draw near and we spend time in the presence of the Lord. He will give us a new perspective. So friends, don't pray it safe know the Lord and speak his names, particularly speak the names that are what you need today, okay? And as you do that, stay near to God. Draw near and remain there and let him shape you by the Holy Spirit into the person he's designed you to be so that when you live in this world, you live as a representative of Jesus before people who don't know him and particularly with the people who do and they need your unique contribution into their lives. Dare to draw near to God.